Okay, hi, um, welcome to the video. Um, something a little bit different tonight. Um, in fact, I'm joined by my mate Ali. Um, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Um, so I wanted to show you something brand new and something you've probably never seen before. Um, myself and Ali are watch nerds, um, totally mad on watches. And what we wanted to do, we know we know the, the kind, we like chronographs, for instance, and we know the kind of prices people charge and, you know, um, <laughs> For, for stuff which is which is really shouldn't be as much as it is and we thought well I wonder if we could actually produce something ourselves so we've actually gone off and done that we've gone away and um, we've actually um, got um, a watch made um, with genuine Swiss parts with a Swiss movement Swiss case Swiss style Swiss hands um, and then we've used our, our watchmaker in the UK a trusted watchmaker to uh, to assemble it for us uh, with all the component parts that we've that we've sourced so what we wanted to do tonight was to actually show you what we've come up with and and also get get your reaction to it is it something that you would buy um you know um it does you know it, it is the case to your liking do you like the dial was is there anything that you'd like to change so so anyway without further ado let's have a let's have a look at the watch itself okay And here it is so as you can see it's got a lovely lovely blue dial um, it's got a titanium case at the moment we've just got it on a collar strap I mean collar one of our favorite strap makers so it seemed obvious to to choose uh, choose a collar strap but um, yeah so so here it is what, what are the dimensions Ali? I, I... The dimensions are on the titanium case. It's a beautiful 40 mil size. So it's 40, 40 mil across, yeah. That sweet spot that everyone's looking for at the moment. Yeah. We've got 14 millimeter height, so yep. it's just right for a chrono. I've seen if this camera's focuses in properly. It's the first time I'm using my phone actually. Just so I tried for a change. Yep, go on. The titanium case is only 66 grams, which if you can compare it pretty, to yeah. some of the steel alternatives, is really good. Really yeah. good. Yeah. And we've got 20 mil lug width for yep. the strap size, which is again probably the most popular strap size. Okay. So you've got sapphire front. Yep. And you have sapphire display on the back as well. Yep. It's beautifully sealed to 50 meters water resistance, which is all you need for everyday use. Yeah. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous case. And this, that's this. This is a Valju 7750 movement. Yeah. It's a Valju 7750 movement. It's uh, been regulated. So yeah, so, so when, we, when we had it actually assembled, um, I said by a watchmaker in the UK, he, he's regulated. I saw the photographs when he did it, and he actually, there's different in different positions, so he had it he had it there, he had it, he had it that way regulated. And in, in the end, it was, it was just like plus one second a day he got it regulated it to. Plus one, plus two, and plus yeah. four. That's right, for the different positions. The different positions but I think on the wrist, that, that position is a plus one, isn't it? Plus one, which is within COS yeah, standards, yeah. which is amazing, really. The, the actual dials on the camera, it's not, it's a real vivid blue, but it's not coming out, is it? The daylight shots, and actually, if people follow you on Instagram, yeah. you've got a very nice daylight shot where that blue pops. Yeah. It's beautiful. So as you can see, it's the typical 7750 Valju um, layout. So you've got your three subdials there. Getting a lot of reflection on the camera, actually. Um, it's got the Dauphine hands. It's got tritium loom. Yep. And it's got the hand-painted seconds hands on the chrono. So that's right. We've got the watchmaker too. So the actual, we had the, the hands. Um, they were all silver weren't they and he'd actually just done he's actually painted the tip We're in two minds whether to have the whole of the chronograph um painted uh, that red which is quite nice actually yeah sometimes um the watchmakers have all of the chrono salt dials in yeah. color and then the chrono seconds a different color ah right okay so yeah i'll just set it off now so it's got the the day date in the in the three o'clock position as you can see it's uh no logo at the moment. We're rumming in our whether whether to have a logo at all. Um, I quite like the uh, the name. No name actually. Be quite nice to wear a watch that hasn't got any logo at all. But we're still talking about that. Whether that's the thing to do or not. Would love to hear people's feedback. Everyone is that we've shown this to is more intrigued by the fact there is no logo on the dial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that would be a, a 
a thing that you could wear that it would be different. Yeah, yeah. Everyone seems to have a Rolex or an Omega symbol on there. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, so yeah, it's looking absolutely gorgeous. Start the chrono off and... Yeah, I've, I've started it, yeah. Started yeah, I've started it. Fantastic. So. The snapback is absolutely spot on. You said that just as it passed the 12. I'm going oh, to really? let, I'm gonna have really? to let it run really? now, hang on. I'll just let it run a bit more. But yeah, um, so you're not getting that... Uh, yeah, I have got some day time shots on my Instagram account, which is kevg1962, if you want to check those out. Let's just stop the chronograph. Reset. That's really nice. So as I said, we're thinking of actually producing these now. So we'd like, you know, really appreciate it if you could leave comments below on on, on um, whether you like this. Um, we're also thinking of maybe slightly or maybe having an alternative version with a with a all polished um case steel case this is titanium um we've got some really nice feedback on this but i think it'd be nice to see it again in a in a chrome uh, in you know in a polished steel the polished 316 cell steel yeah 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 again that the case as i said the case is swiss made the dial is swiss made the hands are swiss made um, the movements completely. The movements is, 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 is a Valve 7750. Beauty, isn't it? Yeah. So, we've got the Italian strap, and actually, Colore have been, they're very good friends of ours, and we do post a lot of Instagram pictures on Colore. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, we've actually dropped them a note to see if there'd be a, a chance of producing something um, bespoke. bespoke for this. And, uh, and they're Fabio, right. the owner, is kindly going to yeah, talk to us about that. Yeah, he said he was happy to, to chat about that. I'm just trying to get it without. It reflect in the camera actually I'll probably at a wrong angle but yep yeah, so there you go we'd love to hear what you think about this um also what what would you pay for it that'd be interesting as well we haven't we haven't actually decided a price yet have we we haven't it seems to be that anything 7750 base yeah is well above the thousand pound mark at the moment so we would want to try and become come below Around that under the thousand pound mark and i think as a watch collector if you're looking at what's under a thousand pounds, you have a lot of watch manufacturers supplying the Seiko Mecha Quartz around that sort of high six, seven, eight hundred pound mark. And considering the Mecha Quartz is a sixteen pound movement, it's quite a lot of money. Just trying to find it a bit difficult to focus with this with this phone camera. I thought I'd give this a try tonight. It's okay on the back. It's the front because it's such a, a shiny dial. You need some sunlight, really. Yeah, you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we those Instagram pictures do it just for justice. Yeah, yeah. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay, but um, anything else you want to add before we finish? No, absolutely. Leave all the comments. Go on Kev's Instagram account. We'd love to hear back from people. We're all part of the same watch community. We all watch the same YouTube videos. Let's let's get your feedback. Yep. Yeah, thanks. So thanks for watching. And yeah, all comments below or comments on Instagram that would be really appreciated. And uh, maybe we'll try and do another one where we can get a, um, a shot of it in the, in the daylight. In the daylight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Ali, thanks very much. And thanks very much for watching.